Hello friends, I hope you are well. I am doing fine, thank you for being here. It's been a week, took a little vacation, it was fun. A little bit of staycation too. Um, I don't know what you folks have been up to, but please feel free to chime in on the chat. I've also got that open for you. And um, yeah, if there's anything that you wanna see, today we're gonna pair the Yang Wang with the Porcupine. And this particular version is on a growl, um, and so it's pretty uh, it's pretty fast. It does it does okay. Uh, not super high PS. Um, definitely upset someone. Um, anyway, so let's kind of start with breaking this one down. All right. So just want to make sure. Thanks for watching, folks. I do appreciate. I do see you on the on the chat, so thanks a lot for that. And uh, if there's anything that you want me to add to this build, let me know. Okay. Um, so we, I found that getting the Yang Wang to be fixed straightforward. It's got a pretty slow barrel rotation, so if I can kind of line it up with the porcupine, it seems to work a little bit better than letting it spin all around. I think you could, different people might uh, decide they don't like that. But to that end, I wanted to use these buggy floors here to really uh, hold that front little bit on. And um, then we've got these large assembly sections on the side. Those are kind of light moon buggy parts and a couple of uh, pack parts there to cover up your cloak not much armor on the back really this is a growl so you know you're using light pieces here um, I did want to get rid of these I use these small tank parts they're pretty strong you could probably um, spend tonnage somewhere else this is this build is crazy because it runs a gas gen but I wanted to keep it light and it's kind of this is this kind of build is really kind of a one-shot deal anyway you end up being uh, either do well or you're <laughs> get wrecked pretty quick but putting the engine on top of the porcupine, it's an interesting design idea. I've got it reinforced with a couple of buggy floors mounted behind the porcupine, but, you know, and I don't know, who who knows. But uh, went with some strong frames here up front, the two 8x4 light, lightweights. Uh, and they're, out, they're offset one so that we have room for porcupine in the middle. Uh, of course, you got the bull bars. Those are nice and light. And then we have the bumper spikes. Okay, so... Um, yep, Yang Wang is on a gun mount, uh, just to, because it has quite a bit of hit points, so you don't want to put, put on a small, flimsy part. And then this is just hiding underneath, and so hopefully not getting shot too much. But, uh, again, you could probably make this lighter. I just like this way this is boxed up. Um, you could also move this thing up to the cab a little more, but I do like to have this lightweight frame, this strong, uh, 56 hit point, or 560 hit point, essentially, uh, frame to really make it uh, strong all the way in the back. So that's kind of why I have that gap there. Uh, of course, put the gas gen and the ammo pack underneath because when you go, you gotta go. So uh, so that's this build. Um, yeah, just basic. Um, so let's take a look at some other builds I've got. Um, you know what we're gonna do? We should probably actually play this one a little bit just to give you a, and then we'll move on to the next one. Oh, we can't play it like that. <laughs> yeah, let's assemble it. Okay, now we can do. Getting a little scrap metal here. So, had a fun little vacation. We went down to uh, Astoria, Oregon, and Cannon Beach. Here, the dog liked it. We got to go out in the park and stuff. And now it's up, sunny up here in Washington Coast area. So, that's always a nice time of year when it gets sunny, um, you know, really uh, pretty fun. So anyway, thanks for joining the stream. All right, so let's see if I can help somebody here. I'm going to get just shot one shot in here. I don't have a whole lot of armor. Maybe somebody's coming up here. Oh, they are. Okay, hello. Oh, yeah, you didn't like that. Uh-oh. Okay, ooh, that person, we need to get them. Can I, can I shoot you? Ooh, that hurts. Yeah, that's no fun. 
Just send some more over the top to those people over there. Okay, gotta watch your radar there. Okay. Okay, that's not a safe corner for you anymore. It's not, nope. And it looks ready, so let's see if we can't bother someone here. Can we just say hello to your face? Okay, there's not anybody behind me, so I think I'm okay. Let's let them in first. I'm gonna help, help out where we can here. Where's that other radar? Ooh, that hurt. That, that was not fun for them. All right. So yeah, this works really well. I like it. Um, not much to say about it. Uh, holds together pretty well under fire and. And so we like that. So that's with the growl. So now what's the next step up here? Um, let's see here. I like making things with the growl. All right. This is the other version that I made, which I like. I've actually made two other versions. I made this tall thing and this shorter thing. So we're going to try this one first. We'll go up in power score a little bit. Um, and this one is... A little bit longer it's got the um, it's got the Omnibox which is a really nice engine uh, cab and then of course I've got my power slide over the top I've just got this lightly armored uh, I probably could make a hole down in there but I decided to just put it up there I don't really care if the cloak gets shot off on this because by then it's really getting close in um, the Mempo and the Hidate those are really nice parts uh, bumper spikes couple of six by four lightweight frames at the back and see these I just wanted to reveal these little small thorns here um, those are kind of stuck on you didn't know some people don't know you can set them that way but that's kind of nice just to protect I didn't have enough tonnage on the on the back for my uh, for my little wing spikes I usually like um, so then in the front here we've got the hatchets um, want to get those up high for some hovers and then this vial is a pass-through damage part just kind of holding things together a little bit more uh, and also tanking the cannon shot before it gets into too deep. Uh, the Harate, uh, that's a really cool bumper part, so hopefully when these things get blown off, you still have at least some layer of bumper before they get to your porcupine. Kind of that's what we go for here. You've got these big gun mounts here that's protecting against damage penetration and then uh, putting a roof over everything. The roof tends to get hit before the parts underneath. Um, so you know, kind of holding it all together, a little bit of a lattice work. These are attached directly to the cabin there. And uh, then, you know, some of these um, buggy floors there, those are nice and strong. And these are also serving the dual purpose of not letting the cannon rotate. And I like that because, again, it's kind of hard when the cannon's rotating and then you're trying to get straight with the porcupine. If you look around, it just kind of frees your, cam your, your camera to look. So it's nice. Uh, and then the roof holds it from, from tilting up. Uh, and then we've got the APC roof part here. So it just kind of turns it into like another kind of porcupine type of deal. Um, and then our radar, of course, we've got our generator sticking out here. Um, and we have it kind of hanging off one to one side. And I, I might want to armor that up a little bit more than I see it now. But, uh, you know, have your generator off to one side because on the other side, is the engine hanging down there and I noticed that if, when the engine gets shots off and you're uh, still pretty armored up front it, you tend to get really slow so that was not good so I kind of hit it down there in the side uh, in testing so and of course you got your 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 yang wang uh, your porcupine and mounted on the yang wang is double mounted not only on the small buggy floor but on the gun mount just in case uh, you can try to hang onto that weapon and this whole big chamber is all just soaking damage before it hits your, before it hits your your weapons. So, I mean, just like this, it, <laughs> it's pretty fast. It's pretty good. But even put the engine on it, uh, it'd be fun to play this without really anything on it. I do like it. Uh, it is pretty big. Um, all right. So, uh, let's assemble that and let's see how we like that. All right. Let's take it into some batteries. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the point being, we've just got a couple of different... There's a lot of different options to do this kind of a build, so... Um, 
fixed firing angle is, is nice, but you know, it would work with some things. You gotta really have tracks to, to make this work, and I find that speed's pretty important. I also like that this cabin, oh, it's gonna be fire right there. I also like this cabin has a, uh, a perk that improves the, uh, come on, buddy. Oh, darn it, missed it. Oh, boy. No, no, I don't wanna play with you. Okay, good. Nope, nope, okay, well, that's fine. Now we're gonna go this way with our friend over here. Where are you? Okay, can we can we cloak? Can we help? Who's who's throwing that fire over there? Oh, trunk. Okay, we can leave now. That was all we wanted to do. Oh shoot! Now it now the gun's spinning around. That's okay. I can I can adjust for that. Once you do that, you don't really want to hang around for too long. That, that sure does break a hole in the line. Uh-oh. Hey, Sergey. Oh, missed ya. Uh-oh. Yeah, but I can hit you. Nope, nope. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna get ya. Uh-oh. Better get out of here. Better get out. Oh, I lost my cloak. Darn it. That's okay. I'm still alive here. We're gonna go... Nope, don't want to play with you like that. We're gonna play... We're gonna shoot from a ways away. Okay, I'm gonna come towards you. You're busy. Yeah, that's alright. Okay. Kind of a miss, but not too bad. Yes. Okay, so that's what we've got there, and that was a good game. Thank you, everybody. And now we're going to try this one that's just a little bit higher, a little bit different uh, pet, uh, idea for this, and I'm not sure which one of these three I like the best, although this one seems a little taller, so I kind of I think maybe the other one, but uh, this is... Um, It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. It, I can take it for a little drive. Every, armor's kind of all up high. Um, it is rocking a beholder, so you get a free cloak. Uh, fast, lots of damage. Potential smashy bits, you know, so you can bother people. And uh, I don't know, I think, it's, I think it's pretty good. If I could hit a bot, that would be good. But, uh, you know, it does have pretty good, I mean, look at me keeping up with this hover. That's not nice for you, is it? It's interesting. Seems, seems pretty tough to me. I don't know. Okay, let's get you there. Uh oh, who's gonna die first? Me? Oh, you died first. All right. Okay, so let's give this one a little try here. So, I don't know. I find that if that barrel's not swinging around because it's pretty slow rotation and you're just lining up the shots and, and strafing the, the stuff across. It's really nice because people dodge to, you know, avoid the porcupine, but then there's a bunch of more little mines around the area, so it's pretty nice. They also seem to do pretty good damage to the underside of builds. Um, like, if people have their gas gen underneath, you know, it's pretty easy to hit uh, with that if you're just spamming these. So don't drive over those, folks. Those are nasty little green explosives, as you know. Okay, where are we going here? So this is a little taller. Still has a cloak. Uh, but shorter cloak, so... All right, can we help Joseph? Okay, now backing up. Oh, oh no, bot behind me. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, let's go help Nikki. Come on, Nikki. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Uh oh, uh oh, no. I don't want to play that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Shoot. Don't want to do that. But I can help my friends over here. Okay. Sorry, buddy.
Okay, yep, drive right over you. That's fine. Okay, now I can back up easy. Okay, there we go. That's who I want. I'm gonna go get you, mister. Or you. Yeah, that's not very nice of me, is it? Uh-uh. Oh, no. Okay. Bummer about that for you. Let's go over here. Oh, missed him. Oh boy, that is that is bad driving. Oh boy. Don't 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 die off. Don't die on this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, there we go. Now I've got you stripped there. Yeah, okay, blow up on me. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Use toothbrush. You are You are not dying very easily. Hmm. I don't know. Very interesting. Is that the last one? Wait, that was the toughest hover. I don't know. I must have been missing a lot because. Okay. Alright, so we like that. Okay. So. What else do we have to show? Okay. So I was working on this one as well. This one is a harpy. Um, this one, a little faster, a little lighter. Same concept, still has a cloak. It's a little harder for the explosion perk, but uh, not very much armor. Uh, like the Omni wheels are nice, and with the Colossus, the Omni wheels and the harpy, it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, you can go. 90 kph sideways and all, all day long and even go the other way pretty quickly so it's already 70 80 you know so it's not bad and when you're strafing with, with these kind of weapons flinging them outward like that is not a bad idea uh, so we'll just give this one a try and see how it does Drinking a little bit of tea. Okay, folks, let's test out this Harpy Omni Wheel Yang Wang Porcupine. It's gonna be fun. With the Yang Wang's perk, you gotta kinda be careful with the um, number of modules you put on. You wanna have some, not so many, your, your power score is astronomical. Uh, with the harpy, you can't really go end game. I mean, I guess you could, but you're gonna have a little bit of trouble with tonnage for making these bigger builds. So we just wanna spam this corridor here. Let's bop these people. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was terrible. There we go, that's better. I love tracks. Oh boy. Only one. Uh oh, that was the enlightenment. No, it wasn't. It was a it's a nest. Uh oh, don't do that. Okay, back up, back up. Okay, watch backwards here, folks. Okay. Spamming into the middle seems appropriate. Oh boy. Just got our cloak left. Let's get out of here. Still run into people. Let's go bother them. Come on now. Let's go sideways past. That'd be fun. Hello. Oh boy. Oh, terrible. All right. 
we'll try it again. I probably should have hung back, but I kind of went a little too deep in early. Got to use that speed with this thing. Omni wheels don't allow a lot of tonnage, so you really there's a balance between how much armor you can put on. You don't really want to go to six Omni wheels. I mean, you can, but not with the other harpy because uh, you lose so much more power. So this is just a kind of a hit and run vehicle. Should be pretty good. Let's see here. Yeah. There we go. Let's go this way. Yeah, you got that. Okay, let's go help our other friends over here. That's what we want to see. Uh oh. Let's not go that way. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I can get in front of me, that's fine, but I'm not going to stay with you. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh, no, we'll go down this way. Come right up behind you again. Stuck under the. Ah, it's dumb to run into that thing. Yeah, we're gonna die pretty quick here. give that one another try. It's going to be a little bit more finesse than brunt with this. Pretty fun though, getting some decent shots off, not doing bad in the scores, so I don't mind getting assists, I don't care about the kills that much. Seems to be getting decent matches, although there are some pretty high things, so it might be interesting to try to make something really tiny with this combo of weapons. Maybe we'll do that next. What do you think, folks? For watching, do appreciate it. Okay, going that way. All right, some kind of explosives over there. No, don't flip. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, you went in the pit. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Oh no, not another one. No, not after the. Oh boy. That's okay. That was worth it. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're gonna get this one here. Who else do we have? Uh oh, oh no, not flipped. Flip him, Jordan. Oh my gosh, Jordan flipped him. Yeah, you still got a hover and a porcupine. Uh oh. Still, still. Uh... Nope. Nope, that wasn't gonna work. Okay, buddy. Oh, crickets. Omni wheels. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, Tank. Good job, Tank. The boss is not doing anything. Okay. That's nice. Okay, Tank. We got their adapter, some Aurora. That's nice. Some of that cool. Cool parts. Is that a beholder? Hmm. It's not as much fun. Yeah, man, shoot. Wizard. That's kind of mean looking. Ooh, yeah, that hurts. Nice. What is that? They have porcupines? Fire bumps. Something on there. 
Oh boy. Yeah, get him. Okay. No, oh, terrible. But I got first blood. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the Harpy, the Colossus Engine, Omni Wheels, Porcupine, a Yang Wang, Grenade Launcher in a fixed position. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, honk at me. That's fine. I don't care. Oh, great. Oh, it's E30 guy. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I'll go with you, E30 guy. Where are you, Rigger Joe? I like you, Rigger Joe. Uh-oh. Where we gotta go? Okay. Okay, we're watching out. Can't really shoot up there. Need you to be downhill. Okay. Yeah, let's just send some stuff over there. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Let's go see if we can help our friends with the cap cans. That's no fun. Pretty fast. Maybe we can. What is that? Is that enemies? Weapons? I don't know. I don't like it. I'm gonna stick around there for, for, for long. Let's see here. Who do we got? Oh, we got somebody down there. Yep, can. Let's see here, can we... That's who you want to see. Yeah. Two kaijus. And a hover. Yeah, it's fine. You can shoot me that way. I don't care. It's fine. So keep moving. Yeah, yeah. Your thing blows everything up. Yep, yep, I know. But you see, I have a porcupine, and that's not fun for you either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Okay, you 30 guy. Gotta carry the team here. build. Only one left though. Yeah. It's not looking good for you, buddy. Got a scorpion. A couple of kaijus. Oh, self-destruct. Yeah, that's that's the honorable way out there. <laughs> oh well. Good job. Alright. I like that. It's a pretty fun little build that goes real fast. I like the small tracks. And I'm playing on the wheels, so that's what I mean. Ah, dang it. Yeah, yeah. If I can draw you in after me. Oh, 
Oh, they wrecked my whole front end. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. Well. Okay. So let's build something. What you say? Feel free to throw in any ideas. It's going to pair well with those weapons. Drifting, probably pretty hard to hit that way. Um, boosting, I don't know about that. The Blight Cabin might be kind of nice to pair with the uh, Porcupine and all that extra damage it could cause. How would be nice. I think let's go, let's build something with the Blight. So, let's start out with, let's do it pretty fast here. Let's not fuss around with it too much. And I think, you know, if you have a lot of modules on this thing, it's going to be, it's going to do a lot more damage. I wonder about, we could do an undermount. Yongwang. And, uh, far forward we want it maybe we want it all the way back it would be nice to be able to mount something behind it but that probably isn't going to happen so let's try that let's get it back a little bit maybe we even could even close in that space a little and then that puts the porcupine right there i wonder if we can hang down one more or not let's see Ooh, both can fire all right that's good so I think that that's nice. Now, this is hanging down too, so we have a limited choices of what we can put it on. Um, either Bigfoots or tra uh, um, meat grinders, hovers. Um, the Goliath isn't going to get us enough, I don't think, but we could try it. Let's see. Yeah, it is giving you a little bit of trouble, I think. But it moves so darn slow anyway. I'd like to use, let's use a couple of meat grinders. And I kind of like to use two sets, but let's see here. We want to go. can have more protection for a front. Alright. So we know we're going to want an engine on this. And Colossus. Oh yeah, we've got to put a generator on. I think I'm going to put an Apollo on this because the more modules you have, I'm going to bump my power score up so high, but it's, I think it's okay. Uh, uh, you know, let's just, we'll just, we'll try a, a more moderate version first. So then that gives us, we kind of put this a couple places. We go there, go down below, kind of leaning to that way, and then kind of get these one by eight. If you want to stick out that far, really, but I think just to give a little extra protection, and then we'll do two by six lightweights, or we could do two two by two six by four lightweights, or one six by four lightweight. I think that's good. Um, and then we want to put our engine over the top. So we want to put our cloak in here somewhere too, but I think that's going to have to go up here by the cabin. I try to put more stuff underneath this, but I don't really worry about my cloak getting blown off that much. By the time you're that far into battle, it's like, well. So that that should probably work pretty well. I don't want to get too much tonnage here. I'm going to put a radio on here while we remember. And a, let's see here, radio. And can we fit a radar underneath? I don't know. Sometimes you can. Sometimes it drags on the ground. 
Let's see. Let's see. I think it's dragging a little bit. Actually, the gun might be dragging too. But let's just let's just put this up here for now. And look at our power score. Okay, that's gonna be pretty good. Do we want to protect our back end a little bit more? We did go to the. I wanted this to be able to attach to both mounting points, but maybe that's not that important. Maybe we want to protect our rear just a little bit more. How much do we need those arms to go out there? That might be okay. a little bit more. All right. So we want some wings up the side here. It's two by six slight weight frames. Okay. And actually I'm gonna move these all up one. Make sure it's square in the front. And if it back indents one, that's fine. There we go. Okay, so we need some bumpers and they need to be the smaller size, so we'll go ahead and use the buggy bumpers. These are nice. And we want, the other option for that would be bull bars. You'd have to do like this. Let's see here. I don't think it's going to fire through that. No, it won't, but... We got that. I wonder if I need to build something underneath this to keep it from tilting down. It's probably okay in practice, so we'll give it a try. Um, all right, so now we're we've got all our, our hardware on there. We need to get some bumpers on the rear. Um, this is eight wide. It's pretty nice. Maybe that cover that whole end, and then we can kind of go this way. Get a second layer of bumper there. Um, I'd like to have some spaced armor hanging off the back of that. But maybe I'll go. I like the vial. The mempo is really good too. So let's see here. The vial is right here. So we can kind of decide. Yeah, I think that'd be good. And then let's go to these. The mempo is really a heavy part, which is nice. Also, decide to go that way don't really need to go that high. So this is 220 essentially durability. So this is 106. So that'll hang on there just fine. Gonna protect our back end and look stylish. You know, it's a double win. The Hydate can have some ground effects, spoiler stuff hanging off the back. Uh, this is a really nice part, and maybe we want to use this right over the top of our porcupine, perhaps. Let's see. Maybe that would be nice. Or we could go this way, and that would be good. So that part is 106 durability. Other idea would be to kind of go with our old standby APC roof parts and do this, which is probably a little safer because you got more attachment points. So let's do that and just put our armor right where the stuff we don't want shot is. And we'll go along the side. Can go, ooh, this can go all the way out to there. So perhaps we want to do something like this. Even maybe we 
extend this overlapping. I'll go all the way up about as far as you want to go there. Windows. And then going to use some tank side parts, stitch it all together. Maybe I even do that. Oh, we're going to just run out of tonnage real fast. Okay. So this whole kind of line of thinking is not going to work. We're going to have to use lighter stuff than that. But we do want to use those. trouble with the light cabin. So we do want to use those over the top of the guns and then we just need to use some lighter parts. That's how you build and learn. This is a fun game. So deep with stuff you can do. Let's see here. Let that go the other way. Is that right? Overhang, we need something spiky out the front. So, I think that let's see if these buggy bumpers overhang too much and they won't let me fire, or if it will. No, too low. But, what about no, the sentry line? So that, that's going to be too low. Oh, no, it's okay. No, that would be nice if we put that on there. So let's let's start with that. Got to do something down the side here. But we don't really, you know, it's like our engine is pretty strong. You, you cloak it shot, you know. Oh, it's just too bad. So let's go by durability. Or let's go by power score because we're going to need light and good stuff. Put the power slide over the top of this thing. Get up there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can go up there for now. Okay, so that's a strong part. Um, I wanted to use that. But I think I'm going to run out of something that's, that's assembly sections, perhaps, or... These are too heavy. These are 204. I could do some more spacing type stuff here probably going to be the best we will really do. So that seems good. We could put one more. Two more. Okay. Well, that's interesting for sure. I'm just going to see, well, see how it does. Let's paint it. I don't know, something. Call of the Flame. That seems appropriate. Okay. Well, let's save it. Let's call it. Um, work in progress. Uh, blight. All right. No way. All right. Battle. Thanks for watching the stream today. I do appreciate it. Been trying to keep the format moving along a little bit more. I think it's going to be a little bit more interesting. And I uh, hope you like it as well. Please let me know. And if you can, give me a follow there on Twitch. That does help me get to um, the next level. And that will, that will give me a chance to have my videos be archived versus deleted after 60 days. So, I know it's kind of crazy. But good for you I do download the videos afterwards and uh, put them up on YouTube and you can watch them there and they do not get deleted so we also stream in high quality 1080p 60 frames so get to see what's going on and uh, see how these builds are doing see how some of these new syndicate parts would maybe fit in with your build uh, so pretty, pretty fun pretty fun I'm going to cloak. I don't want to get hit on the way down there. And not super, super fast. And they got a lot of people sitting up there on that ridge. But let's help Helen. Helen. Yeah, it's good to help Helen. Hi. Why? 
Oh, um, I don't want to fight that. No, 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 no. We can do this. That's nice. Start a little fire. How about you two? Okay, let's go. Uh, ooh, wow, we didn't have a lot of hit points there. All right. Let's return to the garage and take a look at this build here. Okay. 1,200 hit points. It's a lot of exploding. I don't know. Let's see here. Do we put an ammo box in here? We did not put an ammo box in here either. Very interesting. Alright, so... Let's... Put an ammo box in. And... That'll keep that gun from moving. And let's maybe do like that piece. Maybe we don't need to go up that high with this stuff. Maybe we do. Let's use this. That's not a bad piece. We'll keep that. Set that down. Okay, that's a little, little better there. There, that's a little better. And this can come down. This can... Come on, no. Just gotta sneak down there a little lower. Oh, boy. Just gotta find a little spot. Okay, we're sticking right inside the cab then. That's it. Okay. Now, a little bit more tonnage. Okay, try to put some more armor on. This bus panels would be good. We'll just kind of go down there like this. Tuck them under. That's nice. Hopefully we don't run out of tonnage yet. Oh, we did. Okay, so what other heavy things do we want to lose? Hmm. Talking. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, if that's the way, that's one of the heaviest pieces we've got on this thing. So I think that that is pretty accurate. Let's see here. What do we got here? These are lightweight. I think we could probably use lightweight one by eights. Try to get just a little bit more. Okay, and 1296, let's see here, let me put this back on, yeah, there it does fit, okay, good, that's nice, we could even go attach it to both things, and let's put something else on that's got good armor, We aren't going to be able to fit that, are we? No. What if we didn't have this? We have one or the other, huh? I think I like that better. Okay, we'll just go with something light here. There we go. Alright. Let's paint it a different color now. Leaf fall. Okay, let's give it a try again. Let's save this. That's how we do it, folks. We just try different builds. Add a little more armor here or there. I don't think that last time was necessarily the best. Oh, yeah. You know what? That's the other thing is we weren't using our perks. So... Need to tie the light to the left click as well and just let it go whenever it can. And uh, I think that that is gonna, gonna solve everything. Let's go to battle.
haven't really played much with augers and tracks, but they seem pretty cool. Turning great. Inch doesn't sound bad. Huh? Oh, this is a good one. Don't have to worry about uneven terrain with this build, really. I hope the augers back up well. Julie with the Wretchers. Someone should help you. Uh oh. Remember, look backwards. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Hi, Julie. Oh, look, you caught someone. Great. Yeah. Good, we got him. Okay. See, you gotta try to help help out your fellow bots. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, where do we got him? Oh boy, that is terrible driving. Boy, okay, go left. Spin. There we go. Okay, now I can go. Okay, Mr. Pitches. Sorry, buddy. Oh no, I'm not gonna go after you. I mean, it's the monster. Uh oh. Maybe we'll go up on the bridge. Hello, bridge people. Are you up here sniping? Let's see if we can't. Let's see. If we... Hey. Hey. Let's get you. my guns off. That would be so silly. Let's cloak up and come find you. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Alright. Well, we did good. Let's go ahead and try it again. Oh, I got a prestige level. Nice. 24. Not that high. I've seen some pretty high prestige levels. Okay, folks, well, thanks for watching today. Let me know if there's other kind of topics that you want to do. I'll probably play around a little bit more with uh, different stuff tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, it'll be pretty fun. So, let's just see if we can't get the batteries a little bit more. Okay, folks. The light. All right, James. We're going to go help you as best we can, okay? I know you're going to fly your little retro hover right into the middle of everything. For some reason. Poor James. It's kind of like a sacrificial lamb. Oh, boy. Oh, this is not turning very well. Oh, boy. Shoot, now I've wasted my cloak. That was no good. It's okay. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, that's fine. You can hit me like that. I don't care. Let's go up here and make you uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here. Uh oh. Oh, don't do 
that now. No. No. Yeah, let's get around. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. I still have my weapons. Okay, back up. Yeah, you didn't like that, did ya? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well this is a pretty tough build here. Okay, good. Good, good, we like it. Alright. Well, folks... Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you like this stream, feel free to give me a follow on Twitch or, uh, you know, whatever I can do to make some content that you're going to like. That'd be awesome. So let's just take a screenshot like we usually do at the end of these videos. And uh, let's see. Let's see how this is going to look. Harry the dog, are you ready to get up just about? Or a little more dragon. Okay. So. Yeah. Hi, Jimmy. It's funny. Alright, have a good night.